Hey what's up you guys and welcome to Brickstart PH and today instead of creating something with Lego we'll actually do a bit of a de deconstructing so for this one I'm going to show you uh, my Lego game room mock which I did a few months ago for one of the BTC events that I attended and I'm going to be dismantling the entire thing right in front of you and showing you the different elements of the build because I'm going to be needing some of the parts here. So yeah, let's begin um, with uh, deconstructing the different elements of this LEGO game room. So as you can see, it's a pretty decked out uh, game room that I've created. Um, I created this one because this is my dream game room actually. Um, I have attempted to transform this home office of ours into a game room but unfortunately I just don't have um, the space to do it so I thought of okay why don't I just make my dream game room in Lego instead. Let's see the different parts of the game room shall we? So first and foremost I'm going to be removing this one. A game room is not a game room without a gaming chair so I created this gaming chair mock with my sig fig here um, it's colored red because I think most of the gaming chairs or at least the cool ones are colored red in the market today and yeah so the backrest reclines all the way there <laughs> but um, yeah it's a pretty standard looking uh, gaming chair and I'm going to be dismantling this on another episode for so to show you how to create your own gaming chair. I also have um, if I could extract it from the build. Okay. This black couch with my player number two seated eating. Then the, my dog is also here because that's usually what he does whenever he sees food. So for this for this instance it's hot dog so he always climbs on the sofa and tries to grab some of our food. And then we have a coffee table at the middle of the... Oops! Okay, I wasn't able to get the entire thing. But just to show you, so I thought of, okay, since you're playing a game, maybe you're eating some chicken, drinking some beer, eating some pizza with your friends. So I thought of putting all of those things in the center table right here. And then to show that it's like a pizza takeout box so I placed this 2x2 uh, two two tile resting on this uh, cheese wedge right here so that it's always upright like that. Next is uh, one of my favorite parts of this game room which is the Nintendo Switch. Okay, it doesn't look like an actual Nintendo Switch but you get the drift. Um, it has all of the correct colors of the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that's one of the consoles here at the uh, game room. Then of course, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you also have a PS4. So this doesn't look exactly like the PS4 but um, it's sort of uh, accurate form-wise. Then of course, if you have consoles, you also have your gaming PC. So as you can see, this is the gaming PC and that's one of the coolest parts of the uh, game room mock. Okay, sorry, I forgot. Before I totally dismantle this thing, I'm gonna show you a cool element of this build. This is the first time I've done something that has lights. So of course, a game room is not like a cool game room if it doesn't have all of these LED lights all around. So for this one, I have a combination of blue and red LED lights uh, for the different parts of the room. Yeah, it just makes 
the entire game room so much cooler, so much more badass. So yeah, this is the gaming PC. It's a tower PC. It has a shark sticker on it because I don't know. <laughs> then the PC gaming uh, unit has a dual monitor uh, setup like that. Yeah. And it has uh, its own webcam because while you're playing, he's playing the game, he's also doing uh, live streaming. You know, stuff kids do nowadays. Let's take out the... Oh shoot. The pieces fell out. <laughs> okay. I destroyed the entire thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the shelf with all of the game titles that uh, the Lego owner own, the game room owner owns. So it has um, titles for the PS4, for PC, and of course for Nintendo Switch. Then of course you have some of the different uh, merchandise. Uh, fan merchandise that um, this game room, this gamer has on his wall. So you have the Batgirl poster there, the Death Star poster, and I created this uh, game room mock to have an owner which is a fan of Star Wars. So because I have all of these light elements, um, I thought it would be cool if you could show off some Star Wars um, items in here. So you have, of course, the red lightsaber, the blue lightsaber, some uh, figurines and of course one of the things I'm proudest of the Millennium Falcon so I searched for this build online this is actually one of the advent calendar builds for Star Wars so I thought of create creating uh, a model a scale model for the game room okay and then lastly you have the TV area of course um, I can't dismantle it right now because all of the lights are connected in there and then some of the different um, shields that he owns so uh, dragon the crown and the lion shield so yeah so that's about it um, this is this was my game room mock I decided to include some um, line elements on the wall just to break the monotony and if you can see right there that is my under the table is my dog, Mini. So um, that's something that she usually does when uh, I'm here in my home office. She always crawls under the desk and she's always waiting there for me. So I thought of including her in my mock. So there she is. Um, she's supposed to be a adoption. I built this one before even the Lego CMS Series 19 came out with the actual dash room right here so this was the stand-in when i didn't have this one yet yeah so that's about it um i've totally dismantled the lego game room mock so i actually need all of these blue lights for another mock another corner vignette that i'm doing so that's why i decided to dismantle this right now and make room for another mock yeah so that's it thank you for tuning in and i hope you got inspired to build your own creations with my mocks and yeah please don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you like this video comment if you want anything else featured in the show and if you want more of these types of videos on your feed please do consider subscribing so yeah thank you bye